Welcome to the kitchen right here. Wake up Nigeria. Yes, we are definitely having breakfast today. And it will be prepared for us by Chef Dotsu, a.k.a. Chef Amin. I think we should stick to Chef Amin. I like right. that one, Chef no Amin. Problem. All right, so Chef Amin has breakfast for us this morning. What are we having? Okay, we'll be having veg uh, vegetable rice okay. with stir-fried chicken. Vegetable rice with stir-fried chicken. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the ingredients. What are we making use of? Okay, we're making use of the red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, okay. the green pepper, okay. some cucumber, okay. and the major likely, likely the ingredient, which is the paprika, the smoked one. Okay. We have seasonings, and we have a blended sesame oil and okay. normal vegetable oil. Okay. So yeah. smoked paprika. Yeah. What is wrong in using the regular paprika, the red, the red one? Okay, you know, most times when you talk to your client that you need jollof rice, they'll yeah. tell you we need the smoky jollof rice. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's not about the jollof rice to get burnt, mm -hmm. but because of the ingredient and the spices and the herb you're going to use in cooking the jollof yes. rice, that will give you the yes. um, smoky jollof rice. And smoked pap paprika is actually a secret ingredient. Many people don't even exactly. know. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So you could take note of, even though we are not making jollof rice yeah. this morning. But smoked paprika works wonders yeah. in your jollof rice. It does. Okay, so besides this, we're also use, making use of yeah, rice. Yeah, making use of the, rice the basmati rice and, and have a soft are, chicken. Yes, yeah, so that's what we the soft chicken. Okay, yeah. so uh, for you, how long do you boil your soft chicken? So because it's going to it's still going to go through stir frying, mm -hmm. so you're going to take like maybe ten minutes. Okay. Since it's um, soft chicken, okay. you understand. Even in the normal process, at least if you want to eat it after boiling, it's mm -hmm. just like fifteen minutes. Okay, run us through the process. What are we going to do? So first thing we need to do is we're going to stir fry these uh, vegetables okay. and set it aside okay. with the sesame oil. Okay. Then we're going to be using the normal vegetable oil to stir fry. The chicken okay. while the rice is getting ready. Okay. So at the time the rice is getting ready, we have to incorporate everybody, everything together in a pot okay. and we mix it up and we're okay. done. So th this is supposed to be towards the end? Yeah, this is going to be towards the Just end. Just for that smoky flavor? Exactly. Okay, so the chicken, we, when, when it's boiled, are we, that means we're going to put it into smoke. Yeah, yeah, you have two ways to do it. it. You can we are going to debone, then okay. you can make use of like a shredded chicken okay. or you make it a cube okay. chicken. All right, so let's get started with the step right itself. So, All right. Okay. okay. So we're going to let this continue to cook. Yeah, right here. So we'll just move this up here and then we'll do our step right here so you can have easy access. Thank you. Okay, so first things first. We're going to. You're using the sesame oil as yeah, a base. Yeah, as a base. Okay. Okay, I actually thought you were going to make use of the vegetable oil. No, mm. that would go for the chicken. Okay, because sesame oil has strong flavors Flavor, and exactly. it works magic in, in food as well. There's something, for those who are trying to ditch uh, MSG, you could actually learn how to use your spices well and you'd be amazed by what you can achieve with your food. Let's take a look at the ingredients on our screen right now. Okay, so we'll check out what we are making use of this morning uh, so you can scribble them down. Vegetable rice with stir fried chicken breast. We're making use of basmati rice. We're using chicken breast, red bell pepper, green pepper, spring onions, sesame oil, vegetable oil, seasoning, corn flour, and smoked paprika. Yeah. Now, if I have regular paprika and okay. I do not want to have to buy smoked paprika, okay. how can I create this? Because I know something about spices. It's possible to mix something with your current spice as long as you know the right spice mix. Exactly. So how can I achieve this? So there is no two ways you can achieve this because mm -hmm. actually the paprika goes through the first process of um, drying. Yeah. After dehydration, then we have to grill it. Mm. So the grilling part with the charcoal will give you the aroma of that smoke mm. combined with the paprika itself. So, so the normal paprika will only give you something like a reddish color. Yes which is like a family of red color, yes. but this is actually looking like more is like a thyme. Okay, so can I char this myself? Like yeah, you if can. If I have red paprika, can okay. I char it, like use a dry pan? The way we do when we want to make egg sausage. You, like you, 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 you can, yeah. but yeah. it's gonna, it not going to give you the same. smoked. Oh. Because it, the smoke has to come with the charcoal. Oh. You know, basically in abroad, we have different flavor of charcoal that we buy, yeah. but not in Nigeria, because I worked there for two years. So anytime you want to smoke uh, a stick meat, you use a different flavor of charcoal. Mm -hmm. And if you are doing fish, use another different flavor of charcoal. So most times, it is not what you are rubbing on the stick meat yeah. or the fish that actually give that aroma, yeah. but the charcoal that is giving the heat. So the I, I know someone told me once about flavored charcoal, and I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Then the day I got to try it, I was amazed. It, it, I don't know. 
Is there a process to it? Have you ever had to make it yourself? Uh, well, you can make it yourself, mm -hmm. but it takes a little bit of time for you to get the accurate um, flavor of charcoal. You get our regular charcoal, mm -hmm. then you have to buy the industrial flavors, yeah. which is food flavors. Yeah. It's not the normal regular flavors yeah, that I use in order to say. It has to be edible. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have some other chemical, which is edible as well, that you have to soak it with with the flavor mm. in order to get the aroma that you need. I'm charcoal. saying this because there's somebody out there thinking of a business idea, one yeah. that has to do with food. This is something you might have So, and also you have to dehydrate after then, mm. then pam, you have to put in a sip lock or a seal nylon so that the aroma won't lose yeah, from the charcoal. So, so then you can use it any time you want okay. to use it. So, so far so good. All we have there is the bell pepper. Is there a reason yeah. you didn't put the... Yeah, green, if you yeah. if you still fry a green, uh, especially the green um, pepper, it yeah. loses its color. Oh. So it's always good to yeah. add at the end of your meal okay. when it's still warm or hot. Okay. Especially also with spring onions. You don't have spring onions at the beginning of your cooking. It's when you are maybe like 90% done, then you can add in your spring onions. There's a craze about cucumbers now. Okay. So when you mentioned cucumbers, I had to do a double take because okay. I was wondering... We have in stew, then I remember, no, no, it's not stew, it's stuff, right? Yeah. So these cucumbers are also another fantastic ingredient. In fact, I, I made curry sauce this morning. Okay. And while I was making it, I, I said to myself, ah, oh, I wish I had cucumbers. Yeah. Because so cucumbers, are the, they are the mm, you need in your meal <laughs> these days. Exactly. It's just something they do, the watery the taste. The watery taste. So it uh, just adds one sweetness to the meal. And also it has a yeah. good nutrient. Yes. Yeah. It does. It does. As a matter of fact, it does. Okay, so you, you just seasoned it, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. The entire cooking process takes how long? So for this, after you prep, the major thing about cooking is for you to prep. Yes. So if you have all this in your freezer or your fridge, maybe like they cut vegetables already, mm -hmm. so it takes you less than 35 minutes to do. Okay. I can bet. Okay, I shouldn't bet. Okay. That the chicken is ready. Yeah. So let's uh, let's see what you're going to do with it. How are you okay. going to shred it? I can help you continue with this. No, I'm going want. to turn it off. Okay, great. So we're going to shred the chicken right now. And uh, yes, you have to protect your. Okay. Should I put that up? Mm, yes. Okay. Let's uh, see. So we're going to shred the chicken right away. So, this is so a if you notice, surface. I didn't add salt or seasoning yeah. to the boiling because you don't want to over season the, yeah. the meal. Yeah. So you have to be careful doing that. So this is what your seasoned chicken would look like, your boiled chicken boiled would chicken look, look like, like exactly. chicken exactly. that has not been seasoned at all. This is yes. exactly what it will look like. So let's uh, get this ready for the stir fry. Okay. All right. So you're making use of cutlery instead of knife. Yeah. Or it will be and, easier ah. to tear apart with the fork. Okay. Some of us, we use our hands. Yeah, you can, but it's hot. <laughs> Wait for you to cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see you do this. Okay. I want to see the shape of chicken you're going to decide upon. So I um, probably might try to use two style. Okay, two styles, okay. Yeah. Which Let's is... See. Style one. Is it shredded? Okay. There are people who do not eat um, skin, chicken skin. Yeah. yeah. And there are people I like to be around because I like helping them eat it. Okay. <laughs> Eating my mom. Wow. <laughs> there are some people that actually do not like it. They yeah. Just don't. I hear because of the fat content within. Yes. But okay. most times the, uh, the, the fact still remains that there are some nutrients that are also, you know, hiding behind the skin of the chicken. Absolutely. If you notice that when a chicken loses feather, mm -hmm. it takes a longer while before it grew back. Exactly. So that means it has like an anti-aging. Yes. Um, yes. That's actually You know, point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Yeah. I might want so to use my hand. This, and at some point, you will use your hand, I'm sure of that. The good part is the inner side isn't as hot as the exactly. outer part would be. Yeah. However, I'm just wondering, what's that second style you said you were going to do? It's the cube, this dicing. Okay. So we actually use, um, use a chest for that, a okay. chest um, like the chicken That's breast. chicken breast, yes. Yeah. So that one is actually okay for that. Okay. But for this, you can make it a shredded. Okay. Okay. 
yeah. chicken. So it depends on what you want to do. So if you're exactly. the type who likes your cubes cubes matching with your vegetables, you might want to consider using chicken breast to achieve the cubes, okay? All right, so we'll continue with the cooking process. Uh, at the end of the show, of course, our guests will get to try out what we've been making this morning. We'll take a break. You're watching Wake Up Nigeria. Just stay with us. Welcome to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Chef Dotun, a.k.a. Chef Alamin, has made breakfast for us this morning. And breakfast is, tell us. Okay, no, don't worry. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what <laughs> breakfast is. Okay. So what we have here is stir fried rice mm -hmm. with uh, chicken, shredded chicken. Yeah. 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 So shredded stir fried chicken with rice, of course. Okay. So I'd like you vegetable rice. So dig in, please. Dig okay. In, dig in, dig in, dig All in. right. I really want to have your feedback on this because a lot of work, a lot of love went into it. Went into it. Okay. So let's see let's how see it how it goes. Affects mm. your taste buds. No pepper. You were right. It's not spicy, but it's very tasty. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very I, very I did tasty. Most of the work. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to know you're enjoying it. The chicken yeah, is well nice. spiced. Yes, too. well spiced. Well, well done, well done, Agnes. <laughs> and uh, big shout out to your business. And uh, thank you. you know, as you go higher and all that. All thank that. you so much. Right. That's been the Bye. show. The size of a show today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.